Hi everyone, I'm Connor. Welcome to Angling Scotland TV on YouTube. Some of you might know me as Coastal Fly Fishing Scotland or on Instagram. Today I'm going to be tying for you a pink spay bait fish, which is a fantastic fly for sea trout through the winter and spring months. Hope you enjoy this video. So we'll start with the hook I'm using, which is the RX Nordic Salt 122 light stinger hook, uh, size 6 in this instance. And the thread I'm using is UTC 140 fluorescent shell pink, which is just the right colour to match the rest of the materials on this fly. So we start with taking the thread all the way up to the butt of the shank. Like so. And then the first material we tie in is Ripple Ice Fibre Shrimp Pink. I normally just take a small pinch of this, just sort of twizzle it through your fingers like so. And you're wanting three inches off the end of the hook shank there. Just catch it in, and then just an open turns, catch it in, we are about 4-5 mil away from the eye of the hook, just turn that off, screw it all down. The next material we tie in is the spay hackle, so it's White and Farms Shrimp Pink Spay Hackle. And we catch this in by the tip, much like we would if we were tying a patagrissan shrimp. Pull the hackles back, like so. Just winding it and touching turns all the way up the hook shank. Pulling the fibres back, making sure none of them are caught on the stem of the hackle, all the way up. You can already see how much movement you're going to get in this fly. Fantastic fly for catching sea trout in the winter and spring months. Don't worry about using fine tip scissors to cut the stalks on these hackles, they're really soft. What we do is we kind of pull it all back now and then just push it up. At an angle like so, catch it all in. Look at the movement in that. 
Next, we've got a SLF salt water dubbing shrimp pink, fluorescent shell pink, I should say. I don't use any wax, just dub it straight on. can be quite generous with how much you put on the thread. Get a little brush, brush it out. some more ripple ice fibre. Another pinch much like before. Again, one about three inches. This one's slightly longer, the fibres, than the previous hackle. And again tying in by the tip of the feather. Touching turns. What I tend to do to build the bulk up on the head a little bit is I just go back over the previous turns. Pull out any hackles that I've caught. of the stock it's getting a wee bit too much to turn over the top of the, the previous turn and it's time to catch it in
again like before. Follow back. Sharp at an angle. Just try and get the, the end of that stock. Let's build up a bulk cup on the head here. Come on, end that stock. It's looking okay. Try whip finish. around any little short fibres that are sticking out like so. Just try and trim those away if we don't want those when we're forming the head of the flight. And sometimes to just do that, push it forward a little bit. You see some of the short fibres sticking out. Super glue on some eyes. Sitting just a bit there, enough room at the front to create a little taper down to the eye of the hook. Now, to form the head of this fly, we're using Gulf Fat Man resin and using this for quite some time now. In fact, I think I actually bought a bottle of it when it came out. And it's a thicker resin than most sets. Really, really fast. Solid. Don't need to leave flies lying out in the sunlight for um, extra hardening or anything like that. Just a really, really good resin. Just get a good dollop of it. And just go around. Creating almost like a little donut. It's amazing how much you can play about with this stuff because of how thick it is. Just get your dubbing needle and start to play around with it.
there's a pressure with the fibers out. And pull it back. That helps sort of taper it into the body of the flight. Start the tape shape now. And then we just set that with the golf UV torch. You can do is you can remove some of these loose fibers as well that you don't really want on the flight. You can really see what attracts the sea through to this fly. Got some really Really, really nice see through on that fantastic fly. Hope you enjoyed that video. Be more soon. Cheers.